when I started to practice law many years ago, there were no caps on damages in most every state. So what would happen is if you couldn't settle your case, you would file the lawsuit, go through discovery, try the case to a jury, and the jury would make the decision as to the value of your case, everything. That changed over the years as the state legislature and the insurance lobbyists wanted to cap the damages. And the legislature felt, most states, that they could lower the premiums that are being charged to the insurance companies if they cap the damages. That's what that was about. It's disgusting because we have a right to a jury trial, right? And if a jury decides that my case or my claim is worth X amount of dollars, I don't think it's even constitutional for a law to limit that. And in Georgia, in fact, the Supreme Court said that it wasn't. That is true, but most states, believe it or not, have caps on damages. So here's an example. You are severely hurt or your family member is severely hurt. You get $5 million award from a jury. It will be significantly reduced to the caps on the damages of that state. And like for ex Ohio, for example, has caps on non-economic damages. So what do we mean when we say non-economic damages? These are the things that you maybe can't see. The pain and suffering that you had to go through, the mental trauma, the difficulty that your family had to deal with as a result of you being injured. These are very real injuries, but for some reason, the legislature saw fit to limit your right to compensation in that regard. Uh, we find it to be frankly, a disgusting attempt to limit people's right to compensation. It's, it's unfortunate, but it's the reality in most states that we practice in. That is true. And in, in fact, you know, a jury are very wise mm -hmm. and they have wisdom and their collective judgment is usually correct most of the time. The legislature, on the other hand, doesn't have any idea about what it is that you've gone through in your case. Yeah. The reality is that insurance companies have been very good at lobbying mm. the public and the legislatures to make it seem as if personal injury lawyers and injured victims are looking out for some sort of major payday. When in reality, if a jury gives somebody a certain amount of money, nine times out of 10, probably 10 out of 10, they got it right. So, uh, you know, this is an unfortunate reality that we have to contend with, but it's one of those things that early on in your case, talking to a lawyer about is very helpful.